everybody. Happy Thursday. I think our light, is our light too bright? It's the same setting as last time, it just looks way more bright. Hello Tom, hello Ryan, good to see you guys. I'm watching football. It's back. It's not officially, officially football season. It's only preseason, right? Okay. And the last one, I put those there. So now I'm working on another set. Oh, college football. Okay. I usually only watch NFL, so. Hello, Wom. Look at you with your, your Herald emotes and your fancy new badge. Look at you go. <laughs> Thank you for that, Tom. Okay. Oh my goodness. How was everybody's Thursday today? Anything? fun or unique happen? Hello, punctual emoticon. I heard spaceship. That would be highlight of my Thursday, that's for sure. <laughs> an interview next week with Rocky Top Sports World in Gallenberg. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. How many? Are you nervous at all, Ryan? our spaceship is by the way I every week I put this away every week after the stream just so it's not like all out across my countertop and every week I pull it back out and I'm just like man <laughs> this is a big set sort of given it's a tourism industry I haven't been, in, in, been a part of in six years you're gonna be fine you're gonna nail it That looks right. We're gonna, we're gonna go with yes. Mm. Last six years have been working in minor league baseball and collegiate athletics combined. At the same time, Do you have a favorite sport, whether to watch or to play or to coach?
always love watching gymnastics. I used to do gymnastics, but like casually, <laughs> you know. I went to competitions and stuff, but it wasn't serious. But I loved watching it. I didn't, obviously didn't love doing it because I stopped. <laughs> but I love playing uh, volleyball. That is my favorite sport to play by far. gymnastics when I was young. That was decades ago now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was telling uh, someone the other day, I was like, yeah, I know in theory I know how to do a cartwheel, but I haven't actually done one since, like, high school, which was almost a decade ago at this point, and immediately I just felt like maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> shouldn't have voiced that. I don't know if you saw or heard Nebraska, Nebraska Volleyball set a world record attendance last Wow, I did not see that. That's super cool, though. I feel like volleyball's been uh, gaining a lot of popularity recently. Lex went to that game. That's fun. A small world. Beach volleyball too. Yeah, I always liked uh, indoor <laughs> better than beach for sure. I don't like sand. Are you Anakin? No, but I, I definitely do sympathize with that line of thinking. <laughs> I really don't like the beach. I don't like going to the beach. Never have. Never will. Missed the Ahsoka chat last week. Loved Ahsoka so far. I have not seen episode 3 yet. Uh, fair warning, episode 3 is only 37 minutes long. I was very sad when I found out. But it was good. It was very good. I was just like... I, My husband and I, we literally had Disney Plus like pulled up on the Ahsoka page at 5.59. And we're just like refreshing it. And then it pops up. It was like 37 minutes! <laughs> <laughs> we wait all week for that, but it was good. it was a good episode. It was fun. Hey, Marcel. Me and my friend watch stuff together every two weeks, and we get at least two episodes. Oh, that's that's fun. Hard to avoid spoilers, I'm sure, though. <laughs> the beaches are amazing. The sand, the water, the wind, the sun as a combo of amazing and glamorous. Three out of four things you listed there. I Sand, coarse, rough, irritating, gets everywhere, as per Anakin. Uh, water's fine, I love water. Wind, I don't like. I moved away from Oklahoma for a reason. <laughs> and sunshine, look at me. I burn in 0 .02 seconds. Don't like the sun either. So the beach is like, all the worst things put into one place. I also don't like eating outdoors, like outside. I just don't like it. So again, what do you do on the beach? You go swimming and you eat stuff. And I don't, I don't like any of those. <laughs> That's, I posted on threads, um, just a, a very light heart. I was like, oh, like, how can anybody be sad about summer being over? Like, we've got, you know, sweaters and 
crunchy leaves and pumpkin pie and all this good stuff coming and someone's like some of us like the beach and sunshine and this i'm like okay but i get it and that's that's totally valid you're allowed to like things you like but as a very pale redhead person <laughs> none of the things you're listing are good for me nor do i like them I also overheat very easily. So summer heat, you, you wrap it all up in a package of just not good. Prefer, yeah, like the pool is fine. I can do the pool if, you know, there's shade and stuff. That's, that's all right. Still not my favorite. but the fact that it <laughs> won't get dark at 4 p.m. That's the only thing I'm a little bit sad about in the fall and winter season is how dark it gets so soon. I like overcast. I like gloomy. I like rainy. I can deal with that. But when it the sun goes down <laughs> at 4 o'clock, that makes me sad. That's, that's true. I prefer indoors with AC. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right there with you. Like, I don't know, fall is good because it stops being hot, but it's bad because the days start getting shorter. Exactly. Um, and like, it's it's okay for me now because like I have my little fairy lights and things that like keep my apartment really really cozy and just like, warm and feel good and like, well lit without being harsh on the eyes like it's it's a good vibe overall um but there's definitely like some days where you're just like i just want natural light <laughs> just a little bit We did finally get some rain here the past couple days, and I've just been, like, living. <laughs> it was like, as soon as the rain started, I was like, oh, I wasn't sad. It was just sunny outside. Okay. We're good. You know how people talk about seasonal depression, like, disorder and stuff? I, I have it the opposite way. In the summer, I get very sad. I don't want to do things. But then fall comes around, and I feel like I'm alive again. Which the seasons for a week fall, like dark winter days and long summer days, but not for months at a time. I kind of get that. I feel like that would give you like whiplash, though. Like you wouldn't be able to acclimate to any one temperature, and your body would probably be thrown off by all the different super long days, super short nights kind of things. But the idea of it is is nice. Cause I know it's always like the first week of actual cold weather, like fall, when it starts cooling down. I'm freezing. I'm wearing all the layers all the time. And then like a weekend, I'm like, oh, actually I can wear a t-shirt. <laughs> I wear a tank top and shorts in this. It's fine. Only because we're used to the current life. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're not entirely wrong. my hand has been like cramping right here like along the tendons not really sure what I did wrong <laughs> it's been like two days of this so every time I just like rat like try to open a jar or something not great I'll limp though Somehow. Okay. Oh, my head's blocking it, but look, we got 
We got shelves with plants in the back. Look at that. And two monitors. I wonder what I could possibly need two monitors for in my gaming area. I feel like you're hinting. I oh yes, and Vince. Vince is up top there. I don't know if you can see him. He's a little tiny. He's he's on my Instagram story though. He is up there on the top shelf. I'm terrible at soft launching things, Tom. So I am hinting just like very badly. <laughs> It'll be officially announced soon enough. Gran Turismo movie the other night. Has anybody else seen that? like a video game car film. So it's different. It was good. I, I had a good time. I really enjoyed it. I grew up playing the Grand Prix Snow games um, quite a bit. So it was it was kind of a fun throwback. And then also it's based on a true story, which is pretty cool. When did that come out? I think everybody who's who is going to see Barbie has seen Barbie at this point. But if if anybody's like, no, I haven't seen it, I'm seeing it literally tomorrow. Speak up, speak now. <laughs> speak now, forever hold your peace. I loved Barbie, it was great. I haven't seen it yet. I mean okay, well, okay. We won't talk spoilers. Although I don't think there's any like major, if, if you've seen the trailer, like you get the gist of the movie. Haven't seen it, not avoiding it, just haven't, just not rushing to see it, same Alzheimer. Yep. There are a few movies like that, like uh, um, Blue Beetle I know just came out and I definitely want to watch it. I just, I'm not gonna go to the theater for it. It's, my husband already went and watched it, so I'm like, yeah, I'd have to go by myself. And like, eh, nah. But I heard it was really good. He really liked it. So I definitely want to watch it once it comes out on streaming. A 
Oppenheimer is like three hours. I prefer to do that at home. I prefer to do most movies at home. The only ones that I like make sure to go see are ones that if I get spoiled for, I'm going to be very upset, <laughs> you know? Like if someone spoils Blue Beetle for me in the next month, few months here until it comes out, I'm going to be a little sad, but I'm not going to be like devastated. So like Indiana Jones, if I didn't go watch that one in theaters and someone spoiled it for me, I'd be pretty upset. But yeah, Gran, Gran Turismo was really fun. Um, I liked it. I would say it's not one that I feel like I'm absolutely going to go watch that again. Uh, but I really enjoyed watching it at the same time. What is this last? I don't know if it's somewhere. It has to be. Unless it fell off the plate, which is totally possible. No, I definitely do. Oh, and Mission Impossible. Yep, that would have been another one that I feel like, gosh dang it. Why? I'm pretty good at avoiding spoilers online. Like, I kind of, my brain kind of has its own filter for those sort of, like, if I'm on TikTok and I see, if my brain just catches the corner of a word that is about that fandom, it's like, skip instantly very very rarely do i actually like read it and then go oh no that was a spoiler like i'll read like two set two words and be like nope skip um yeah that's how i managed to survive for so long without doctor who spoilers back in the day because i would see anything on pinterest doctor who and i'd be like skip It's really nice when it comes to books I'm reading. I just attract spoilers. That was me reading uh, the Throne of Glass series because I've read Akatar. So I interact with Akatar the, like memes and stuff on TikTok and Instagram. So then that's like, oh, you like Sarah J. Maas. Algorithms. Like, so you, you like this author. Let's put all of her books in front of, like, all the things about all her books in front of you. So you see all these spoilers. <laughs> so I managed, I did manage to avoid pretty much every single major spoiler um except for who the main character is that's the only thing that was spoiled for me and i was like ah that's kind of like you figure that out pretty quick so it's not like oh no you know um but yeah all the other like i got to react to that book to that series as as i went along and it was great i loved the Girl of glass series yeah, like, I did see a few that I was like, I saw the characters' names, and I was like, skip! <laughs> Don't do this! And then I'm just in my brain, I'm like, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about the two words that you saw, and how that interacts with the characters of the names that you saw. <laughs> don't think about it. But I just... Are you gonna read Crescent City? Yes! I, it's, I'm like, next in line. Uh, for the digital copy for my Kindle that I just got. I'm very excited about. Um, but I also just got... Fourth Wing, finally. I was on the wait list for like, gosh, I don't know, months, months and months. Uh, and it finally came in, and I put the waitlist for that book <laughs> before I was even thinking about getting a Kindle. So that came in, I was like, this is it, this is going to be my last physical book that I borrow from the library, because after this I'll be doing, you know, stuff on my Kindle. Um, so I, I did, I'm probably going to delay Crescent City until I'm done with that one. I, like, just, just got a chapter in barely started it but I'm going on a, a road trip so I'll have plenty of time to read my book very excited because I've heard nothing but great things about it I 
I've heard that it's a really light, like there's not a lot of heavy world building, like it's an easily consumable fantasy, which is what I need right now before jumping into Crescent City, because I've heard the exact opposite about Crescent City, and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Akatar is what got me out of my years-long reading slump that I started, um, like, in college. I just got in that, like, nothing new was coming out. I just couldn't find books that interested me. And I was so busy with college and everything and work and all that stuff at the time that just, like, I stopped reading for a while. And then COVID hit, and... A friend of mine was cleaning out, like, she was getting ready to move, so she cleaned out her closet and she had tons, she gave me so many books. And I tried to read them, I did, but, like, one, our book chase is a little bit different. She does like the fantasy, so she, like, she's read Akatar and Throat of Glass and she really liked them, but she also likes more serious ones, which I don't. And a lot of the ones she gave me were more serious. And I was just like, I, I tried. <laughs> Just couldn't get it. Just, you know, that, that like magical feeling where you're reading and everything else just kind of falls away. I couldn't get that with other books. Until I was on TikTok and I heard someone talking about a Court of Thorns and Roses, Court of Thorns and Roses, and I was like, fine, I'll pick it up, I'll try it. Instantly hooked. Love the first book of Crescent Save and second one. Second book just got very long. Um I've heard that too. I'm I'm prepared for this one to not be as good as Akatar Throne of Glass, and that's okay. Not every book series is gonna be a hit, you know. Alright, Lex, have you ever read any of Tamora Pierce's books, like the Tortle series, like um, Protector of the Small or Wild Magic or any of those? I'm looking for the same piece this entire conversation. I haven't found it yet. It'll pop up somewhere. I need to just get... Oh, I haven't heard of those books before. Okay, those are those are good. I grew up reading those. Um, and it's a great, if you like that, like, multi... It's not a multiverse, but like, a mega... They're all in the same realm kind of thing. Those are great books. That being said, I haven't read them in a while, but my mom really, really likes them, and she also enjoyed Akatar very, very much. She's in the middle of Throne of Glass. Like, she she has the same reading taste as me, uh, so I, I do recommend them. Just take that with a, you know, grain of salt there that maybe they're not as good as I remember, possibly. I'm getting concerned, because I'm finding this piece that's very similar to this piece. It's just wider. And now I'm wondering, did I use this piece? Or this piece, and I was supposed to use this piece earlier. And that's why I can't find it now. Hmm. I'm just gonna pull it to the side so I stop picking it up and going, this is, nope, that's not it. I don't know how I would have done that because it would, like, stand out. A lot. Yeah. There's no way I would have done the wrong one and not at some point gone, you know what? I don't think this is right. Plates are getting worn down. I'm noticing pieces like flying off of them more often than they used to. Or perhaps I'm just not being as cautious as I am. That could also be true. Okay, last plate of gray. If it's not in here, we are in slight emergency mode. There it is. Whew, we're all right. Yeah, the 
plates are getting annoyed since you're not eating the Lego. Tom, I just saw like barely what you said. And I heard, I saw plates annoyed and Lego. And I was, I thought you were saying that it was getting annoying. Me like sorting, shuffling through them. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to. I know this is pretty loud. So I'm, I'm always like, if it gets too loud or too annoying, you guys got to tell me. But seriously, do, do ever tell me if, you know, sound is off or anything. Please let me know. such good progress and then Lex had to start distracting me with book talk and just you know going into all the things which is one of my favorite things to talk about I, just, I love it when people are like man it took you forever to build that set like yeah, it took you like eight streams to build. That was like eight hours to build a four hour set. I'm like, you guys don't understand how easily distracted I am. And you guys are just so interesting. And you come up with the, the most fun topics to talk about. You could talk about it for hours. I mean, same, obviously. You heard me just ramble there for how long without like stopping to breathe? There's a thing, uh, like a, a concept thing. It's like you have, you have to talk about one subject for 30 minutes straight with no, no pauses, no breaks. What are you talking about? And I'm just like, I could probably talk about it any number of things for 30 minutes straight. Hairstyling, Lego, any of my book series, like. MBTI personality typing. You know, there's just baking. Uh, I could talk about any number of things. Draws a blank after four. But really, like, I, I feel like if I had to, I could, I could come up with a topic I could talk about for a while. It's kind of how it was in like my speech and debate class in school, you know? They'd be there, but it would be like cards. You would just draw a random topic and then you'd have to make up. I think it was like a two minute speech, which doesn't sound long, but when you're younger and you have to like give a speech about something stupid in front of your classmates, it feels like 10,000 years. You draw a card and it's like cheese. I'm like, great, cheese. Okay, <laughs> how do I expand on that? Like, yes, there are a lot of things you can talk about about cheese, but how do you turn that into a whole speech for two minutes that, like, actually makes sense? I could just sit there and I could tell you as many facts as I know about cheese or all the kinds of recipes you can make with it, but that doesn't make a very good speech, does it? <laughs> it was a very stressful class for me. I didn't like it. I did not like speech debate. I'm also, like, the least confrontational person. I hate it. I hate conflict. So, the whole debate part about speech and debate, hated it.
feel like I could make good arguments, but I just can't bring myself to say anything. I, I lock up. Yep, for sure. It's like, if you had me sit there, if it was like a text debate, like you just sat down and you typed out your, your things and then sent, you wait for the response, you read the response, and then you type out what you want to say and you send it. Great, right, I can do that. No problem. But having to say it without crying <laughs> couldn't be me. I thought it has to be a good speech if you can just talk, talk crap for ages. Yeah, see, again, that's the, that's the catch there. We got graded on the content of the speech as well as, like, how we were delivering it. Like, this just doesn't seem fair. You can, you can judge it on the content or on the delivery, but not both at the same time when it's an impromptu speech, right? I feel like that's just... I should just be a rule. My professor was very nice in that class, but the amount of times she told me to speak up, I almost lost it a couple times. I don't think I have a diaphragm, like actually. It's like, use your diaphragm. Like, I really just don't think I have one, personally. Get an x-ray or something, because I've never been able to speak up in my entire life. Impromptu deserves three points for it being messy because you're allowed to practice. Of course, it's going to be better. Of course. Yeah, naturally. Ooh, we get to do tiles. I think it's the shorter tiles, though. a really good streak of like finding pieces going there and then it just died. On. 
We are on bag five. If we had bags. <laughs> for our spaceship. Anybody having fun weekend plans coming up? Is that Labor Day weekend? We can add D and D last weekend though, which was kind of fun, as always. What's up, Doug? I'm gonna be at the pool. It's still stupid hot here. Ugh. Sorry, Lex. But the pool's still fun. We we all we talked about that earlier. Like it's it's not the best. It's not fall, but it's it's better. <laughs> degrees here today. Oof, lovely. I think it was like 70. Yeah, it was like 72 here. Which was nice. I, I would have preferred just a little bit colder. Just a tiny bit. But we got a little bit of rain. It was overcast for most of the day. I will take it. kids birthday party on Saturday morning. Very fun. Weather looks gloomy, so now their plans. It's 90 degrees here. Oh, I mean, I, I was literally there, you know, like a week ago. Flex, I feel ya. Yep, there it is. It was on the last plate, of course. That, that sounds beautiful. I would love a really nice crisp cold because there's there's just cold and then there's that like crisp really fresh cold you know you know what I'm talking about. That's what I want. for we were setting off so strong finding pieces and now it's like bleh. fall is the best season it has all the best holidays it i would say the fall winter season honestly fall is my favorite for the overall vibes and like weather but i also am a big fan of uh, winter 
holidays with all your warm, cozy lights and your cookies and oh, so cute. Fine. Wow. Oh. So hard to find these things. I heard I heard a wow, but I didn't look at the screen in time. What did I miss? I believe our wow is a subscription, is it not? It's me! Hello, Dad. You did my son. Thank you very much. You should have a little... A little badge, right? You do have a founder badge, which is pretty cool. I made little Herald badges for everybody. So I think, I think Wong, yeah, Wong has the Herald badge. Yeah, like that. At the very least, you have the emotes. Where did the spinny boy go? He should be there! We had him last week, right? Maybe it's Twitch. Water tribe. Water tribe. Thank you, Ryan. I Rise think. Up. Maybe <laughs> Uh, I think it's Twitch because this is twice now, right? I've uploaded it. It's been approved. It's been there. We used it last week, right? You know what? I'm going to check right now. We're going to load, we're going to load up Twitch. You timed that very well, right? <laughs> okay. Loading up Twitch. If you hear my own voice playing twice here in a second. I am so sorry. It shouldn't, but just in case it does. Okay. Creator. Okay. Emotes. It's saying it's there, but it's not there. What? Like, it's like, oh, recently you uploaded this animated thing. I'm like, it's on there. Okay. <laughs> Downloads. Uploading. This emote has the same name as one already in your library. What is happening? Okay, close that. This is what I was looking for. Gosh dang it, Ryan. This is serious business. Okay. Check now. Is he there now? Hopefully that worked.
You see him? Is it? Yes! Alright. I don't know why on earth it keeps taking our herald away. Hopefully that's like one and done, fixed, and good to go. <laughs> Look at that boy go. Look at him spinning. He's locked for some reason. <laughs> um, it is a tier one. Wom, um, did were you you were gifted a sub, right? Or did you subscribe with your Prime? I'm learning this stuff just at the same time as you guys, by the way. Your Prime. Hmm. It should be, because I have it in, like, the first tier, which, if you're subscribed at all, should be good. Yeah, Doug is prime. Maybe try refreshing? I don't know why it would be locked for you. <laughs> my poor, my poor Surface Pro is like, you can't? Yes, okay. Whew. Refresh and he's back. Thank goodness. Scared me there. I was like, why would he be locked for one person? I don't think I can even do that if I wanted to, let alone by accident. Alright. I am happy we got that sorted out. I tell you guys? I think I think I very softly hinted at it. And I'm telling you guys and only you guys because uh, you are here on the stream, so we're gonna sh keep it quiet, okay? This is a secret. Nobody clip this, post it, <laughs> nobody tell anybody. We have Harold merch on the way. Official Harold merch is on the way. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Don't tell anybody. I'm only telling you guys because I have to tell somebody because I'm very excited about it. I cannot wait to show you guys the design. I'm so excited. I would like a herald. Ah, hey, Doritos! We can have, if we have Harold, like, Gamer Harold, we will have a little headset, and then, uh, like, a bag of Dorito chips, and Mountain Dew. I'm gonna put that on the ideas list, because I actually really like that. <laughs> Gentile help you? I, of course he knows, he helped with the design. Yep, I'm gonna write down Gamer Herald for ideas. <laughs> Mint Dew. No, Mountain Dew. There we go. stream is laggy. That must be... Hopefully that's your internet, not my internet. <laughs> Reversible Herald plushie? That's getting that. That is... That's a lot more difficult than, than I can manage right now. But we will have... We will have Herald merch very soon. I am checking speed test. Right <laughs> I'm checking spaceship! Very nice. Maybe it's my Wi-Fi not like Okay, everybody else is saying not lagging, so I'm I'm gonna guess it's your are you at the gym right now? Is that what you're doing? Are you on gym Wi-Fi? But that would probably explain. <laughs> yeah, I've got 17 upload. We're we're good on this end. That might explain the lagging just a little bit. 
I just, I just want one cheese flip so I can finish this front end before the stream ends. That's all I want. Is it in here? I'd be mad if it's in here. No. Okay. Oh, found it! Yes! That only took a long time. I'm gonna get all all parts of the spaceship. As many parts as it takes. I would never, like, start a set and go through, like, half of it with you guys, and then stop building it and move on to something else and, like, never finish it. I might put it aside for a minute if we have, like, an on-theme thing to do. Like when we did the llama, you know, just kind of like interrupt in the middle, but we would absolutely go back to it and finish the build. I think the only Lego set I have ever come close to giving up and not wanting to finish. Does anybody want to make a wild guess? Does any we streamed it, so I don't know if anybody remembers the set that I'm talking about that I wanted to chuck across the room. You're blocking your new shelves. We talked about it earlier. I showed them. This is the good part about next Thursday. Hey, come on, it'll be my birthday. Happy early birthday. I'm gonna have a birthday stream. Okay, giant Millennium Falcon. Nope, not that one. That one was fun. Evasive, do you know? Do you remember? I feel like you might remember. Oh, you don't remember! Nobody remembers. I was gonna say, hey, it's a Star Wars set. Like, that's gonna narrow it down. They're just as annoying in the game. Jedi fall in order as they are as a Lego set. Does that help? Droid set. It was awful. The legs, they kept falling off like any time we barely moved the set. And the building instructions were just like terrible too. That is by far my least favorite little set I've ever done. not the long neck. I liked the long neck. It was the Imperial Probe Droid. This was a terrible build. Never want to do it again. If we ever want to display that, Taylor's going to have to build it. Because <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, I just, it's what bother it is. Ah, got it. Don't let me forget about that. There it is. I'm gonna go get the piece I dropped. Ugh. Is chat still working? It better be. I don't know if you were here for the Herald drama. They had to fix that. Drama, our, our spitting Herald emote wasn't working. <laughs> it was like locked behind a a wall. Nobody could use it. We fixed it though. Okay, two cones, two of those. I would love for Harold to be free for everybody. Um, so our instant upload eligibility isn't available for some reason. Don't know why. So we have to wait for that to be unlocked before I can make it. Because I would love for everybody to be able to have a Harold emo. I actually don't know what the problem is. I do need one more to the change you want to see in the world. Go out and tell the world about our silly little Lego stream every week. I want to destroy everything. Um, maybe let's start with like telling people about the Lego stream. You add military ones to join. Don't do it. There you go. Air National Guard. Thinking this is gonna be an easy cheesy little thing to finish at the very end of our stream. And I am once again trying to find one single piece so I can finish this. I'm gonna take a, a bleeder from looking for that piece and find these others. Because you put it in the wrong spot again. Stop. Nope, we're not talking about that. Oh, 
I'm about to get my spare pieces drawer and just make them one. Who would even suggest such a thing? I've never made a mistake before in my life! you put all the same color in the plate? It seems like it'd be hard to see the shape. Um, cause that's the way I wanted to do it. So that's the way I found it. That's the way I did it. I never put things in the wrong spot in my right boys. Ew. Not everybody can be that good at Lego, okay? Some of us have to talk about things. Multitask. It's very difficult. They're bagged the way they are for a reason. Not all of us have the luxury of getting to build fresh, brand new sets all the time, okay? <laughs> Alright, there's that. And I need this piece. That was easy to find. Thank goodness. And then that goes here. Oh, all of that work for that. But hey, we did it. Uh, we, we got that part done up top. And then we did all of the tiling. Ooh, ah, nice tiles. Um, very nice base. It is looking very slick, very sick, very slick. I quite like this spaceship. <laughs> Excellent timing, Anne. Um, very shiny, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What have you started? Okay. Um, yeah. All right. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up for today. We'll be back next. Oh my gosh, Tom. Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday with, um, you know, another section of our- Oh my gosh! <laughs> Let me finish my outro! <laughs> next week, we will, uh, also, of course, be celebrating... Spaceship. Spaceship, yes. And... Ryan's birthday, of course. Spaceship! I'm just gonna wait for you guys to finish. <laughs> Cause, I mean, there's only so many times that I can... <laughs> I have 4,000 points. Do not test me. <laughs> You brought this on yourself. You know, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Who's to say? Um, I'm very grateful to you guys. You make me laugh every single week. We have a great time. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. Harold Spin. Harold Spin spam time, please, as we outro for today. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I will see you all next week. Bye.